All right, good morning, everybody. It is 8.49, July 22nd. God bless each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Guys, um, I'm going to start this video off saying this. All who call on the name of the Lord and believe um, in Jesus Christ, whom God sent, his only begotten Son, whoever believes in him shall be saved. Okay? And uh, then we need to pick up our cross and be following him. Okay? When we repent of our sins, Scripture says, our past and present sins will be forgotten and remembered no more. It doesn't say future. Okay? We have a mediator, Jesus Christ, whom we can repent. But it also warns you if you continue sinning, something worse can happen to you. It also warns you, it says, um, if you take pleasure in it and you don't heed the calling, knowing we're in the last times, that God will send strong delusions, that you should believe the lies. And this is what's happening with a lot of people right now. And they're not, uh, they're not resisting the devil. Scripture says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Okay, but you have to resist it. You can't, if you're yielding into it, Scripture says all this. Um, that's who you obey. You know, whether you obey God into obedience or you obey Satan into death. You know, sin into death. That's Satan. Okay? <laughs> you don't want to be doing that. Okay. First Timothy chapter four one through five. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. First John Little children, it is the last time, and as you have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now there are many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. We know. I mean, we see this big time, that this, this time is it's over here. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. These are the things that we're going to be seeing now. What's going to be happening now where they're going to be going out from us. You know, you don't like you don't see the churches right now coming out. They're not coming out. They stay inside. And that's why and I never realized this till the time that we're in right now. That uh, Revelations chapter 2 verse 10 and 11 and it says to all the churches be faithful unto death you will have trial tribulation up to 10 days and that's probably where they're going to have to be witnessing and watching um, executions and uh, it makes perfect sense with everything that they're doing and why are they not coming out they got pastors that aren't coming up speaking out churches aren't even coming together you know, they just continue doing what they're doing. That's all they're doing. Continue what they're doing. First John chapter 3, 8 through 10. He that committeth sin is of the devil. You guys, this is a New Testament, you know. What part of this don't they understand? You ever ask yourself that? Why 
they can't understand this and they hate it when I tell them this. They hate when I tell them this, okay? He that commits sin is of the devil. They hate it. I mean, they get hatred in them. And when I say that, sin's a choice. It's like a bad habit. That's what it is. You don't have to do it. Christ came to destroy the works of it. And those that abide in Christ sin not. Uh, those who, uh, who are abiding in God, their seed remains in them. They don't sin. Okay? Those who are yielding to sin never knew him. And they're still sinning. Scripture says this. They won't go into that. Okay? There's a reason for that. Those of you who know and can hear what I'm saying, the reason why I'm saying this is because this is like going out into a uh, few are going to get this. Few. When it's scripture says, if the righteous scarcely uh, be saved. You notice how it said scarcely. In other words, we only make it by the blood of Christ. Not by our works or anything, but by the blood of Christ. And we have to abide in him. You have to pick your cross up and follow him daily. I mean all day. Not 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 say, well, I'm going to set, set the cross down here. And I'm going to go over here and fornicate with somebody. I'll be right back. You know? No, that ain't how it works. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. That he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever is born of God does not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him. And he cannot sin because he is born of God. Listen carefully to this. In this, the children of God are manifested and the children of the devil. In that saying right there, if they're yielding to the devil, they're, that's what they're doing. They're being manifested. Whosoever does not righteous is not of God. Neither he that loveth not his brother. You guys, I don't hate these people that are yielding into sin. Why would I hate them? They're going to have to go through a whole lot. I don't hate them. <clears throat> I can tell you this. When they're coming against what I'm saying here, they're coming against this. The word of God. Okay? This is out of King James Bible, by the way. 1 Timothy chapter 4, 8 through 10. Now, you guys, I'm constantly in scripture. Now, I got people saying I'm grossly overweight. I'm not grossly overweight. I'm almost 60 years old, man. And I am I lived in the front seat of my truck. My stomach, I had torn an umbilical cord in my stomach. I used to drink alcohol when I was younger. I don't know what it is, but anyhow... It's my stomach where I've got, like, gas. A lot of these people want to say I'm fat. My legs are thin. My arms are thin. That's it. But these people want to come in and say that I'm obese or whatever. Well, this is what I got for their obese saying. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8 through 10. For bodily exercise profiteth little. But godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and that which is to come. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. Okay, if you noticed um, where it said labor. Now, I guarantee you these people want to say that I'm a liar and a hustler. Bum, I spent three and a half years. You go look on my videos, go, go all the way back. And every day, seven days a week, I've done videos every day. Okay, I didn't get a weekly paycheck doing this. I went around warning people. Now, these people want to come against me. 
and say that I'm a bum, I'm a liar and a hustler. I used to own a business called Golf Bay Painting, LLC, Clearwater, Florida. And it was very profitable until we reached these times that we're in. And I learned what the Lord showed me. And I refused the offers that the devil was offering. Okay. And I decided to go out and warn people living in my truck. Most of these mockers and scoffers and people want to come against me. I don't think they'd go out there and make it for one week doing it. I sold everything I had, went out and did everything I could do. My last two years of my business were being, being taken apart because I refused to stop warning people of what I knew. And that's when they said, Mark, if you speak less about Jesus Christ, we'll turn your life around. And I said, that ain't going to happen. See, and God will provide and make a way for me to get through, and he did. And I did get through. And we're in the last times right now, you guys. That's why I am where I am right now. And you guys, remember this. The world is going to hate you. They're going to be saying cruel things, mean things, um, simply because I'm saying the truth. When I'm talking about the rainbow on the flag, okay, when I'm talking about that, that's why they're being hateful any way they can towards what I'm saying. And what I'm telling you is the truth. The rainbow is on that flag because God put it in their mind and their heart, okay, to put it there, to show that they are covenant breakers. Okay, the covenant's broken. He's handing them over to reprobated minds. That's why they are men with men, women with women. That's why they do what they do. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these people doing their videos coming against me are probably even that way. I wouldn't be surprised. They're reprobated minds, I'm sure of it. Or they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. They surely aren't among us. And they're not even acknowledging what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is God put this in their minds. Okay? This is what's happening here, you guys. These times are about to come to an end here. And very few people are going to escape this. It says, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where does that leave the ungodly and sinners? Where does that leave them? You guys, I was, I'm was i at the point where we're probably going to end up be not using the comments anymore on these videos because it's going to be getting a lot worse with scoffing and mocking. And they're going to be making coming out with more videos, trying to come against those that are pointing out the signs that God is giving. Okay? The times that we're in. They don't want people to understand because, see, once you know what God is doing, you can see it, then you're going to start seeing the other things too, okay? Coming out of that hold that Satan has on some of you, okay? And you start seeing what God is actually doing. God is in control, but a lot of people, you got to, you got to acknowledge him. It's like it says, they worship the creation more than the creator, you know? That's why you have to let go of this and uh, acknowledge God in all your ways. Lean not into your own understandings, but acknowledge God in all your ways. <clears throat> Be strong, you guys, because like I said, it's gonna get it's gonna get worse. Yeah. Scripture says the whole marvel not if the whole world hates you. Okay? Just know and understand. You know, they did this to Jesus. You know what I mean? They're going to come after everybody else. That's why it says, pray that you're found worthy of uh, escaping this. Okay? I've heard these people sitting there saying, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. Well, Scripture clearly says, 
If you don't pick up your cross and follow me, you're not worthy. If you don't love me above your children, your parents, you're not worthy. Then it says, pray that you're found worthy. Okay? Don't let some man tell you that you're worthy. Do what the word of God, obey him to be found worthy. Because that's what this is about. Okay? God bless you guys. I love you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.